soaking everything in, Matt. Nicole is getting a vent hawk. Excited to have you updating the product page currently. Here to gain some knowledge. Yes, Neil, love it. All right, everybody. Well, welcome to the webinar. Let me just make sure that the live is going okay. Sharing the Zoom link for those who want to join. And sharing in the groups as well. Boom. Almost there, guys. One man show today. Maybe I got some help. Mm. All right, beautiful. Let's get this party started. Welcome to the preseason prep webinar. Uh, super excited for this one, guys. Uh, as you guys know, I own a party rental business myself, and uh, this is going to be a webinar, a, a, a live stream where I'm going to walk you guys through exactly what I'm doing to prepare for this year, prepare for the busy season. Uh, if you're watching this live, uh, you're well, I'll be I'll be uh, sharing a spreadsheet with you or a checklist with you in the comments. If you're watching this as a recording, just mention in the comments that you want the uh, the check the uh, checklist, and I'll get it over to you. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys and get this party started. Boom, all right, pre-season prep, party rental business training. We're gonna be talking about hiring and training, inventory management, marketing preparation, and a lot more. Guys, the clock is ticking. Uh, who is this for? What is this uh, seminar perfect for? What is this video gonna help? If you are brand new to the industry, this is gonna be a huge help. If you have been in the industry, you have a party rental business, and you are preparing for this season. Uh, this is really good for off season, whether it's ending the season or beginning of the season, this is great. Or if you're just like, you know what, I'm quitting my job, I'm doing this full time, what do I gotta know? This is gonna be perfect. So if you fall into any one of those three categories, uh, then this is gonna be perfect for you. Curious, where do you guys fall? Let me know in the comments. Uh, are you guys new to the industry? Is this your first season? Uh, are you Have you been in here and this is your, your second season, third season, whatever it is, and you're just getting ready for the new year, you want to crush it? Or are you ready to quit your job and this is this is you really fear, right? You're like, man, I don't want to screw this up. Let me learn from somebody else. Let me know in the comments. Curious. Um, so this, what you guys, what we're going to do today is I'm going to be sharing with you guys my pre-season preparation checklist for party rental business owners, all right? So I'm hearing this is going to be our first Full season, air amazing, awesome, congratulations. Uh, I'm mean, seeing fourth season, fourth season, wow, a few fourth seasons. I'm seeing sixth season here, oh, awesome. Party treat, sixth season, thank you for joining. Appreciate you uh, coming to learn, I'm sure you can teach as well. First season, Matt, Kelsey entering second full season. All right, guys, I got a really big treat for you guys. This is, this is gonna be really, really great. Um, by the end of this, you're going to feel like this guy. And I'm going to ask you at the end, if I delivered on my promise, if you guys feel that you're empowered to hit the season, right? Hit the ground running, uh, but it's going to be a lot. So take some notes and stick around till the end because stick around till the end. I'm going to be sharing with you my checklist. I put this together. I've been working on this for you guys uh, for a while here with all of my calculators, my checklists, all these things that you should check. I'll share this with you guys here at the end. So stick around to get a free copy. Uh, if you feel overwhelmed, feel like this guy, it's totally okay. Uh, this will be recorded. You'll, you can watch it on YouTube if you're not, if you're watching it live. And uh, again, I'll give you this step-by-step -step, uh, checklist with calculators, right? I love calculators. You guys are watching my stuff. I love using spreadsheets. So I think you guys are going to be very happy with this. So without further ado, quick introduction for myself. If this is your first time here, my name is Tariq. I'm a party rental business owner. This is my warehouse on a good day. Um, I'm a college instructor. This was my first class graduating. Haven't been teaching at the college anytime recently. Been a lot busier with uh, with Event Hawk. I'm a party rental marketer. So we're I'm the founder of Event Hawk. We are a Google partner. We've had articles published on news stations, and as of recently. Uh, oh, not as of recently. Uh, these are just some of our awesome results. We we are really good at what we do for marketing, specifically in the party rental industry, because we're in the same industry as you, right? I've hired a lot of marketers and had to fire them because they just didn't get it. So I did it for myself. And now we are getting people 16 times return on investment, 41 times return on investment, even 46 times return on investment. What that means, you spend a dollar, you make 
$46, right? Like this client spent $150, made $7,000. So really good at what we do as far as marketing. And most recently, we won the Platinum Award from High Level. Super proud of this one. Guys, just to give you guys an idea, uh, High Level is a CRM software, marketing software. They're used by like 40, 50,000 companies around the world. And only eight of them won this award. Eight of them won the Platinum Award for helping the most people and delivering value and all this extra stuff. We were one of them. I'm blown away that somebody from the party rental industry won, was one of eight out of 40. I'm still blown away. I mean, I think this is just definitely something for all of us to celebrate. Guys, I've always felt that we are behind in this industry, right? Um, as, as small business owners, but man, I'm super honored to be to be, uh, to be be one of eight out of that many. And, and you guys have made that happen. So super, super proud of this, guys. And, and I thank you guys for making it happen. Uh, I wrote a couple books. I wrote a website playbook, a uh, part of rental business playbook. If you guys want some of these, I got some free copies. Just let me know. Um, I've done some public speaking and uh, this is a little bit about my party rental business. We have a, a storefront. We have an office. We have a warehouse with a forklift, all that fun stuff. Got an awesome team. Super proud of my team. I'll be talking about that a little bit today. Uh, we are the highest rated company in the Chicagoland area. Uh, super proud of that. Even though we're not the unit, uh, new, we're not the oldest. There are companies that have been around two, three times longer than us, decades longer than us, but we're still the highest rated. We know how to get reviews. That's a, uh, we hope a lot, uh, as a vet hawk, we help party rental business owners get more reviews as well. Uh, we've done some huge events like the United States Postal Service, Chicago Cubs, and uh, we've done everything from tents to photo booths. Uh, we even had our in-house DJ service. This is an event that we did right in front of our warehouse. We've done schools, festivals, uh, you name it. So we've done a little bit. So without further ado, now that you guys know a little bit about me, let's jump into my preseason checklist. First thing that I am doing this year to prepare for this coming season um, is looking at my sales goals. Now, I'm going to just share, stop my share here. I want to tell you guys something. As you guys know, if you follow my story at all, my wife runs the party rental business while I run a vet hawk. Um, but for a while, uh, she's she's done that and things have been well, but apparently she wants to do her own thing, whatever that means. So she's been talking about that for a while. I'm like, what do you mean your own thing? We have party rental business. We have a marketing company. Like this is our empire, right? But she feels otherwise and she wants to go back to school. And for a while, I'm like, yeah, whatever. But eventually she did it. And this year she became a real estate agent, which totally sucks, but I'm proud of her. So she's doing that. And uh, I am going to be spending more time in our party rental business. Super proud of her. But again, I don't, I don't understand this. Do my own thing. I thought this was our thing, but... That's my little rant. So why am I sharing all this with you guys? Uh, I'm actually excited about this. I'm going to be spending a lot more time in our party business this year. I'm going to be uh, working from there uh, and I'll be sharing a lot more content. So I'm excited to be sharing my journey. Uh, I'll be a lot more hands-on and excited to kind of level up. So with that, you guys are going to see a lot more involvement from me on the party rental side, which I haven't done in a few years. It's something I bragged about like, hey, I don't, I don't work in my business, right? I work on my business. So this year I'm going to come, I'm coming back. I'm building a team, kind of like a leadership team from scratch so that I'm not, you know, doing the day-to-day. -day. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of trial and error, right? I'm sure I'll make some mistakes, but I'm excited to be sharing that journey. And, uh, and I hope you guys join me in that. So with that, that's uh, just my little rant about the wife kind of ditching me, but it's all good. Super proud. All right. Sales calculator. Okay. Sales goals calculator. I'm going to share with you guys kind of what I, um, here it is. So my sales goal calculator. This is this is how I think about uh, party rental industry. Okay. So what did you make last year? So the, all of my calculators. So you guys are gonna have access to this calculator at the end of this call. I'll share that with you guys. And the way all of these work, you there are instructions at the top here. First thing you're going to do is make a copy for yourself. Everybody tries to edit this. You can't edit it, right? Everybody shares it. You make a copy for yourself. Here's how. And then you fill in the green cells, the green boxes, and you do not fill in the gray boxes. They fill themselves in. The gray boxes have the answers. So if this is your first year, then you could put in some, you know, imagine it, just whatever you guys want, like, right? Uh, just predict what, you're, what, what you what you want to make. Uh, but how do you determine what your sales goal is for this year, right? We all want to make a million dollars. My strategy is to start with what I made last year and I've worked with over 1,500 party rental businesses, right? And this is generally what I found. Now, this is just my, I don't have the data. I don't have all the numbers to prove this, but I found that if you're making less than $100,000, okay? If you made less than $100,000 last year, you should be able to triple your investment. So let's say last year you made $25,000. 
Okay. You should, you should be at your goal should be 75,000 this year. Sounds crazy, but you learn a lot your first year. You make some mistakes. You didn't have the right inventory. You started halfway through the year. It is not hard from my experience to triple your revenue when you're making under a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. I it's, it's again, I don't, this is my, my thought. I don't have data. I don't have numbers, but just from talking to a lot of people, if you made less than a hundred thousand dollars, so th in this box, you put what you made last year, you should, you should aim to triple it. And we're going to talk about how, right? How do you triple your investment? There's a lot that goes into that, but if you made less than a hundred thousand dollars, then you should triple it. If you made between $100,000 last year and uh, and $200,000, then you should aim to uh, double your investment, a 100% increase. I know this is a little confusing. 200% increase is actually triple. 100% increase is uh, is double, right? So you've increased by 100%. So if you made, let's say $150,000, you, you can, right? It's a high goal. You can double your investment. Right. Again, we'll talk about how there are a few things you can do, but it's not impossible. Uh, in fact, I've, I've more than doubled when I was around 150. The following year, I made I made more than double. Right. It's possible. You got to make the right moves uh, and it's there. So that would be my goal. I, I like to reverse engineer. Right. Um, now, if this is too much, then you can look at one of these numbers. I made 150. Let me aim for 50 percent increase, meaning I'm going to make uh, what I made last year plus half what I made last year. Right. And if you made let's say $250,000 last year, then your goal should be to uh, increase by 50%, right? Oops. So if you made 250,000, then uh, a high goal would be to go ahead and, and make about 375, right? And if you made, let's say you made $350,000 last year or more, some of you guys here are in the millions, right? 20% increase is typical for business, right? Like most businesses, if you get a 20% increase year after year, basically what I'm trying to say is the more you make, the harder it is to grow, right? Some people come in here and brag and on the Facebook groups like, oh, I tripled my revenue and you don't know what you're doing. I can, I tripled it. You only grew by 20%. Yeah, because you made 10 grand last year. No, no doubt, no, no shit, you tripled your revenue, right? It's not hard to triple your revenue when you made 15 grand last year. But when you start getting into, into $300,000 plus, uh, the people I've talked to, if you could increase by 20% year after year, that's actually really good, right? So this calculator, you guys will have access to, I'll share it with you. All you have to do is put in what you made last year, if you made anything last year. And uh, my recommendation, right, Tariq's recommendation would be to follow these here as your goal. Now, you're going to grab this number. This is going to be important because, um, because you're going to need this number in order to, to, to go ahead and reverse engineer the rest. Okay. And really important, I'm going to delete this here. Once you get access to this, you're going to immediately come in and try to plug in numbers. It will not allow you to, because this is a Google doc that's shared with everybody. Obviously we can't all edit the same doc. So all you have to do is go to file, make a copy and you'll get your own copy. Okay. All right. So that's sales goals. Once you have your sales goal, next, you need to have the right inventory, right? You have the sales goal, but how are you going to reach it? Inventory is a big part of that. I did a whole webinar on how to make your first $100,000. Um, and, and I've come up with a magic number to guarantee $100,000. Guaranteed, if you're only delivering on weekends, you need about 20 inflatables. 20, right? Now, can you make $100,000 with less than 20? Absolutely. But you would have to rent the units multiple times. You'd have to do some weekday work. Uh, you'd have to really hustle. But if you're lazy, right? If you only rent the unit one time per week, and you don't do weekdays and you don't flip, you don't do Saturday instead of, sorry, sorry to use the word lazy, but if you do the bare minimum and you get the right equipment, $100,000, you can, or sorry, uh, 20 inflatables, you can practically hit 100,000 with your eyes closed, right? If you try a little harder, you can do it. With, I've met people who've done it with 10 inflatables, 15 inflatables. You just really have to hustle and, uh, and, and, and really be aggressive with sales and marketing, et cetera. So with that, we're going to go to, the pricing calculator, okay? So I have a pricing calculator here, which is the next one. All right, so pricing calculator is how do you price your inflatables? How do you price your inflatables? This one is one of my favorites. I recommend doing this every three months. Every three months, I recommend every quarter, you go in here and you evaluate what's happening in your market, right? We all say, oh, we need to charge more, charge more, charge less. 
you have to know your market, right? It's like one of the basic rules of business. So what this calculator is here, this is how do you set your prices, right? So if you know you want to make X amount or, or you have your inflatables, I don't just set my price what I think or what somebody on Facebook told me I should charge. I need to know my market. So I like to look at my top 10 competitors. I like to put their websites here, how many reviews they have. This is really important. And their average rating, because from my experience, when you have more reviews and higher ratings, you can charge more. That's why a big goal of mine for you, get your review count up. I've done videos on that. I have a link to that video here on how to get more reviews. Uh, having more reviews helps you charge more and make more. So how I do this is I literally just go uh, bounce house rentals near me. And I go with basically the first 10 companies that pop up. I, you could click the ads. I try not to click the ads so I don't charge my competitors. I know, very nice of me. Um, you can use the Google Maps to see what's near you. Um, but I would go like with the first ones on Google Maps, then Google, um, like all these listings, I'd list my top 10 and I put their names here, their websites, right? Their number of reviews and check out what happens. Remember, you only fill in the green uh, boxes and the gray boxes fill themselves in. So this company has 10 reviews. This company has 50 reviews. This company has 200 reviews, okay? So it tells you the average number of reviews in your area is 86. It averages it out. And this one is three stars, five, st uh, five stars, 4.5 stars. So it tells you the average review rating in your area is 4.17 stars. And then I like to look at not everything, but I like to grab some core items, okay? How much are they charging for a bounce house? How much are they charging for a combo? How much are they charging maybe for a 15 or 18 foot slide, tent, whatever it is that you're comparing, just compare apples to apples, okay? So I got people charging $200, 250, 150, right? For a bounce house. So my average, let's do 25, so it's odd. So my average in my area that people, that my, uh, my area is charging for a bounce house is 191.67. This is cool, guys. Let me know. Like, are you guys finding this interesting? Let me know in the comments if this is. I love this stuff. I really, I mean, this is really empowering for me. I feel like I have a grip on my business. So if this is helpful to you guys, let me know uh, so we can keep going and create more content like this. Let's see, what we got Kelsey gave a fire emoji. Hey, Rick said very helpful. Gabriel said super helpful. All right, glad you guys think so. Awesome. All right, so we're on the we're on, we're on uh, right track. So what do you do with this data? It's up to you, right? Some people will go on the lowest side. Some people will go on the highest side. Some people go with the average. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. My recommendation, what I would do, right? I would go with the highest price in my market, list my products at the highest price, and then offer some kind of promotion to maybe this amount, right? So let's say you're like, man, there's no way I could get 250 to read, right? That's just crazy. I'm new. I don't have that many reviews. Well, list it at 250 and then use something like a hawk to offer some kind of promo where it brings the price down to 200, right? Grand opening special, summer flash sale, something like that. Uh, people are going to feel like, wow, I got a $250 bounce house for $200 versus I got a $200 bounce house for $200. Is this making sense? I hope this is making sense. This is this is really what I what I how I think about it, right? Um, the value, it's the perceived value. So that is how I do it. You can choose to do it however you want, uh, but there's there's no reason why you should be you know going with the cheapest price because then you're you're just racing to the bottom. And again, I highly recommend you do this once a quarter, uh, working on your business, not in your business. Reevaluate your competitors. Do it in January. Do it again in March. Do it again in June. Do it again in October. Every quarter, go ahead and check and see what's happening with your competitors. Right? You may even be able to talk to some of your competitors and say, "Hey, uh, hey, man, everybody in the market is charging this much. What about we raise our prices by twenty percent? Whatever. Um, you'll be you'll be a leader in your market. I, I mean, that's that's something I, I've worked with a few of my competitors. We've done some kind of stuff like this. Uh, after you've been in business for a while, it's it's not as cutthroat. You, you build the relationships. You see that you can go farther together but that's my experience. So this pricing calculator is definitely something I, I, uh, I recommend you do. This is a good time to do it, to see and be confident about your prices. There's nothing worse than, you know, you, you're waiting, you're not getting bookings. And you're like, man, maybe I should change your price. And you change it, then you change it again. Then you change it again. I know that sounds like some of you guys, right? I've been there. This gives you confidence that, hey, it's not my pricing that's the problem. Maybe it's my marketing, maybe it's my website, but it's not the pricing, right? So I hope that this uh, this makes sense. Um, 
once you've got your pricing set up, uh, probably before that, we should have talked about equipment, right? Um, I have a, before we go to this one here, uh, we were at inventory, I skipped inventory. Okay, that's why. Inventory, you need the right inventory to hit your sales goals. So we jumped around, we were supposed to go from um, sales goals. So now that we know our sales goal, what inventory do we need to hit that sales goal? How many inflatables, right? Um, how many, uh, what variety of units, right? Do you buy an obstacle course, a water slide? I've, I've done a lot of talks about this. People get angry with me sometimes, but I tell people, man, your first like 10 units should be like all combos, right? Maybe one water slide or one obstacle course. You don't want to get a bunch of unique stuff for you. For, for your first 10, 20 items, try to have as many of them, 80% be just the bread and butter, the stuff that goes out every weekend. Don't get a wrecking ball and a meltdown and all this stuff. You want to get the stuff that goes out all the time and maybe get one obstacle course, two water slides, something like that. Uh, that's important. Now, I did do a, uh, a video on, on how to see how many units you need to make X amount. Um, all of this is in the, I have the Party Rental Bosses Library. If you don't have it, I'll share the link here in the end. But there's a bunch of calculators and stuff like that. Um, but let me share with you guys my new inventory ROI calculator. I love this one. This one's one of my favorites. All right, so you're buying some inventory, right? So I'm looking at this, uh, I'm looking at buying an obstacle course or something like that. And uh, this is this is exactly what I do, right? So I put in, I go and I shop, I put in all the websites, I put in what I'm getting. Wait, this is probably the most important thing that I look at. I'm not trying to get the unique stuff. I'm not trying to get the, um, the, the, the uh, what I look at is what can I get done with as few guys as possible. If you've been in business anytime at all, then you know that the biggest expense for any business is payroll. If I have to spend an, send an extra guy because this awesome unit is 600 pounds, then I'm losing, right? I'm losing. So I love getting units that are you know, three to 400 pounds max. I love, those are my favorite because I could send two guys comfortably to do it. And, you know, it's plenty. If you have an electric dolly, my guys were asking me for electric dolly this year. I'm like, do you want a helper or do you want electric dolly? Because with our units being so light, you got an electric dolly, you're not getting a buddy to go with you. You're doing it on your own. So like, yeah, never mind. Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's something that I always look at. I always document the weight. I've been burned with getting stuff that's cool, but then it's too heavy. Uh, I have to send extra guys. I don't make a lot of money. It's it's when it's waterlogged, it sucks. But this is what I look at. Again, you want to fill in the green cells, what you want to buy, what's the link, uh, the weight, how much you paid for it, and how much you want to charge for it. And then watch the magic happen. So you tell this spreadsheet how much you want to charge for it. And it'll tell you how many rentals it will take for you to get a return on investment, how many rentals it will take to get your money back. And it's cool. I love this. I love playing around with this. So if I charge $395 for this $2,500 item, I'll make my money back in six rentals. I love this. It'll also show you the other side. Gabriel says this is a gold mine. Glad you think so, Gabriel. Love it. Um, it'll also show you um, how much you should charge to make your money back in 12 rentals, 10 rentals, eight rentals, and six rentals. Now, I try to stay between eight to 10. I, I, I don't, if, if something before I even buy it, right. So that's where, that's where, um, that's where that last thing goes to, right. So we look at the pricing calculator and then I'm also going to look at this, right. So before I even buy this, so this is an obstacle course, I need to find out how much people in my market are charging for obstacle courses, right? Because if people in my market are charging $200 for obstacle courses, then I know that it's gonna, I'm gonna have to rent it out 12 times to make uh, to, to make my money back, right? So it's important to, to do these both uh, kind of side by side, uh, but you, you wanna look at stuff here uh, where my goal is usually eight to 10 times. If I can make my money back eight to 10 times, I'm happy, six, even better, right? So for us, we're in Chicago, it's a great market, but we're seasonal, there's snow outside right now. So I can charge 395 or even 450 for an obstacle course. Uh, and I mean, this one happens to be very super affordable, uh, but this really helps you understand. So uh, how much you're going to spend. So let's say I have another item for $3,500. I'm going to buy a $4,000 water slide. Um, and this one I'm going to rent for, you know, um, let's see, 450 and 500. And you get all your data right here. So 
This one, if I charge 500, I'm gonna make my money back in eight rentals. Great, so let's say I was thinking about charging 300. This tells me, man, it's gonna take you 13 rentals to make your money back. And remember, our goal should be eight to 10. That's that's my goal anyways, right? And here it'll tell you, right? If you um, if you can charge 666 for this, then you'll make your money back in six rounds. Can you charge that much for, for a water slide or whatever? You know, look in your market, go back to this spreadsheet. And if you find it, you know, take some work, but that's why you, you, it's worth it to spend a few hours on this stuff. You can prepare for your success. A lot of us, raise your hand if you bought the wrong stuff. Raise your hand if you've ever bought equipment that you regretted buying. Be honest, inflatables that didn't rent, something you thought was going to rent really well and it didn't, or something that um, you just couldn't rent for the price that you wanted. It's a party treat says all the time. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. So um, if you can do this work, homework ahead of time, it's totally worth it because it's easy to get caught up and go to your competitor's website and see what they have and be like, oh, they have one of these. I'm going to get one. Or I'm going to get something like it. Little do you know, your competitor already regretted buying it because it doesn't rent, right? You you wouldn't know. Um, so I'm a big fan of, of doing this work ahead of time and, and seeing kind of what you can get. I have also done some videos. Uh, they're all in the Party Realm Bosses Library. I'll uh, share a link to this on how to find out what rents in your area. There's tons of videos in here. Uh, by the way, this is my life's work, guys. I don't know if you guys saw my post about this, but I've got tons of videos and stuff here, business tips, uh, all kinds of stuff uh, on, on how to do a lot of this stuff. So that is the pricing calculator. We talked about the um, new inventory ROI calculator. Hope you guys are finding this valuable. I know it's overwhelming, but I promise you guys will get links to all this and a replay of this video. Um, and with that, we will go to equipment. This is one that I've been burned at. March comes along, you're worried about, you know, just getting rentals, you're getting your guys, you're excited, the phone's ringing. All of a sudden, June rolls around, you run out of extension cords, you don't have enough blowers, you run out of stakes, sandbags. Oh, I gotta add sandbags here, right? Um, count from now, right? You have 15 inflatables. Do you have 15 blowers? Do they all work? Check them, right? Do you have enough stakes for everything to go out at the same time? Sandbags. I've ran out of sandbags. I've, I've, I, it's a, it's a, it was a mess. I had a school book with us and like, you just, you just didn't, you know, we couldn't account to it. And extension cords. Oh man, we run out of extension cords like every year. I don't know how we keep running out of extension cords, but um, this is, this is definitely one that you want to plan ahead for. Uh, let me see here so i have i have here on this checklist do you have enough extension cords do you have enough blowers have you tested them recently this is a big one right blowers i don't know about you but i have guys throw them in the back of the truck sometimes they stop working you get to a customer's house blowers not working test them all that's something we do every single year this time of year before the season we test out all of our blowers we put a sticker on them or a zip tie or something to show that they're tested because i don't want to have any problems on a saturday or something like that right i'd rather know right now And then trucks, right? Vehicles, vehicles. Um, great question. What percent of extra blowers do you suggest? That's a good question. Um, I try to have one extra in each truck. We rarely have issues with blowers, um, but I, I try to have one extra uh, in a truck just in case. But then again, we, we're very local. Uh, depends on, on you. I don't know what, what others think, but I um, we seem to have an excess of blowers. Just got to make sure that they work. Trucks, should you consider buying or leasing a truck or trailer? If you guys have watched my content, you know I'm a big fan of leasing. Leasing, right? Um, I'm in Chicago. We have six months of cold and snow, and I'm going to have this truck sit and rust. So I, I only have one pickup truck, and every summer I lease two to three Penske trucks. I'm talking 15 to to. to uh, sorry, anywhere from 12 to 16 footers. It's great. We lease them. I used to be concerned. I used to be like, man, it's embarrassing to pull up to the customer's house with a Penske truck, right? Uh, until I saw, I pulled up to a festival one time and our biggest competitor in the area, multi-million dollar guy pulls up with two Penskes. They're setting up tents. I'm like, dude. And, and we talk and he's like, yeah, man, all we do, we lease like 20 Penskes a year. I'm like, Phew. so pro tip. How this guy helped me, awesome guy in my area. Um, I called Penske. They gave me this outrageous rate, right? So um, I called him and he's like, listen, tell them I want the same rate as this company. Mention my company by name. 
And sure enough, that worked. So Penske is all, I mean, they're, they're nationwide. I don't know if you guys have Penske where you're at, but mention my company, Bounce My House Party Rentals. Uh, you call Penske, they have a business department. Tell them, I want the same rate that you guys are giving my friend at Bounce My House Party Rentals, and they'll give you that rate. We get a really good rate. I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I haven't been as involved, but uh, it makes total sense for us. Uh, but you know, then again, your everybody's uh, size, right? If you have five units, it might not make sense. But that's something that I'm a big fan of because trucks, man, spending thirty, forty thousand dollars on a truck—that's uh, that's huge, right? Just imagine how many water slides you can buy for that uh, amount and make more money. I'd rather lease. And the best part is, when it breaks down, we just switch it out for a new one. One time, I had a waterlogged unit. The guys, all they had to do was pick up this like 19 foot slide. It was a double lane. It was waterlogged. They got it in the truck, they put it in the middle of the truck and they floored it. And guess what happened? It rolled back and broke the gate and uh, it wouldn't open, right? We just could, we had to literally break it open. And if that was our truck, we would have been out of commission for God knows how long. Um, but we sent it back to Penske and we had a brand new truck the next day. Thankfully we had their insurance, so that took care of it. So I'm a big fan of, uh, of leasing. It makes sense for us. So keep that in mind, right? You, you might get all these inflatables and you know you might not keep not not take into consideration the uh the amount of trucks that you'll need to make that happen. Marketing. I've done tons of content on marketing. Um, I have my order of operations that I recommend. Google ads is king, then Facebook ads, then these other ones, you know, you could we could have a conversation about a lot of these agreements, but uh you gotta ask yourself, right? Like if you want to go big. First of all, what is your marketing budget? Is it big enough to reach your sales goals, right? If you want to double or triple and you're planning on spending $2,000 on marketing and you want to make $200,000, that just doesn't make sense, right? Any business book, common practices, 10% is what you want to spend on marketing, right? I don't think I ever spend that much, right? But if you want to, let's say you're making $200,000 a year, you should plan on spending $20,000 on marketing. Now, again, for me, that's crazy. I don't, I don't spend that much on marketing. Uh, we we do we work smarter, not harder, but that's what the business books tell you, right? So if they're telling you 10%, maybe don't do 10%, maybe do five, six, don't do one, right? Um, so if you guys need help figuring that out, you guys can schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with us. We have an awesome team of growth strategists. They can look at your goals, look at your numbers, and help you come up with a marketing strategy. It's free. There's no commitment to have our service. Um, I'll send this to you guys, and I'll share a link with you guys in the end where you can do that. Um, but this is the order that I recommend doing, right? Google ads. Google ads is very, very important. This is where you get in front of the people who are actively looking for you, right? These are the people who want to spend money with you. They're looking bounce house rentals near me. Uh, they want, they're, they're looking for the right company. If you're not showing up on Google ads, you are losing tons of money from the highest quality customers. Nowhere else will you find none of these other platforms will you find people actively searching for you, ready to buy. SEO, yes, you'll find people looking for you, but a lot of them are still in the research phase. They're just researching, should I rent a bounce house or should I go to Chuck E. Cheese, right? That's what the data shows. Uh, studies show that people who click on ads are typically have a higher purchase intent. They're more likely to actually make a decision. So you definitely want to start with Google ads. Who's managing your Google ads in 2024, right? Are you going to do them yourself? Are you going to hire somebody? Obviously, that's something we offer. Uh, work smarter, not harder, right? You want to delegate. Who's managing your Facebook ads? Who's doing your SEO? Email marketing. You should be sending out a mass email once a month, maybe even a mass text message once a month. This stuff, you set it up one time. And like with Event Hawk, I did a webinar recently where you could spend one hour and schedule out three months of emails and texts that go out to your, to your people you know, once a month and just remind them that, hey, you know anybody who has a birthday this month? We have some special offers, right? And this just makes you money while you sleep. Why the heck not, right? And you might not want to spend money uh, like hiring somebody to help you with this, or you don't have the time. You're just, you're losing so much opportunity from stuff that's sitting in your warehouse. So it's worth it to, to, to spend the time. And then obviously social media management, social media management, posting on your Facebook, your TikTok, your Instagram, uh, your business accounts, right? It's not going to make you a ton of money, but it's good for branding, right? So um, that's, that's the stuff that you definitely want to plan for now. And if you're not sure who's going to do it or how much money you have for it, definitely schedule a call with a growth strategist uh, at Event Hawk, and we're happy to help you come up with a game plan with your budget. Right? We have people spending, you know, hundred bucks a month, three thousand dollars a month. We even have people who don't pay us anything at all per month. We have, depending on your size, like pay per booking. There's a lot of different plans we could do. Uh, and again, there's no commitment. So 
marketing is going to be very big. It doesn't matter how great your products are. It doesn't matter how good your service is. If you can't get in front of people, then it's it's just it's just doesn't matter, right? Marketing is is key. I did this. Um, if you guys came to IAPA, you got this limited edition game board. I'm super proud of this. So this is my uh, um, this is my party rental business game board here. This is what I found after working with over fifteen hundred party rental businesses. This is what I found works best. Uh, if you got your paper edition, awesome. Uh, not then uh, maybe next year, but uh, this is really a lot of the journey that a lot of people go through. Uh, you want to be your own boss. You start a party rental business. You start posting on Facebook and marketplace and then crickets, right? Nothing happens. Then you get a website. You're like, Oh yeah, everybody says get a website. And then I'm going to wake up with tons of money. Still nothing happens, right? Barely. Then you start marketing, you start getting some traffic, but until you use a funnel system uh, like event Hawk, like with, with our pop-ups that automatically text your customers, you, you won't really get much traction. Uh, then learning, right? You need to learn how to sell, learn how to grow your reputation, uh, tons of stuff that you can learn, and then social media marketing, and then SEO. So this is kind of my six steps to success. Uh, I recommend number one, getting a website, then Google ads, then get a funnel system, then learn, learn, spend a lot of time learning how to sell, how to market, how to get more reviews, then go for social media and SEO. This is my, what I found to work best, um, kind of similar to this. Um, we do have a, I did host a bigger bookings masterclass recently on how to get schools to book with you. So if you guys have attended that, uh, that's one of our paid masterclasses. We do give away some free spots. So if you guys are interested in that, shoot us a text. Our number is right here. We can check availability. And then I'm also thinking about doing a pay per play masterclass. Um, I did this one, I did this twice. I did two paper plays in my lifetime, in my career. One went really well, one went, one went terrible. Uh, so I'm excited to talk a little bit more about, um, to, to try this again and see how we can generate money from doing like a paper play. All right, next, hiring, hiring, right? If you have the right inventory, the right strategy, you have everything ready, You now you got your marketing, everything's ready to go, phones are ringing, you're making sales, you need to be able to deliver. And uh, I believe that everybody here, everybody here today needs to have at least two hires this year, at least two hires. I don't care if you have five units or 50 units, you need two hires. You need to hire two people this year. One, you need to hire at least one other person that can deliver for you, right? You, you got to be able to be two places at once. And even if it's just, even if you have five units, you're like, Tariq, I can do this on my own. Guys, your family is not worth sacrificing, right? You don't want to work all summer. You want to be able to take a day off, go to the beach, right? You can have somebody on standby, somebody to help you clean. Don't break your back. Help her, and eventually they'll get promoted to do their own deliveries. But start, think ahead, right? Don't think, oh, I only have this many units. I, I don't need help. And number two, the, the biggest neglected position is sales. Sales, sales, sales. Everybody here, this is something nobody does in our industry. I rarely hear anybody talking about it. Hire somebody to help you make more sales. That's, I'm already, I already have a job post about that right now. Um, if you're small, you're probably thinking I can't do it. Remote. We've had great luck hiring from the Philippines. Um, I mean, it's it's very cost effective. They're awesome. They don't answer the phone, but they can respond to like your event hawk messages. They do great. I mean, you do it that way. One sale can cover a few days of their of their of their salary. They have awesome work ethic. We love our Philippines uh, uh, team. But if you're larger, then you need to hire somebody who can be in the office, make sales calls. I'm big on calling the customer, right? I want to do outbound calls. I don't want I don't want you to just pick up the phone when it, when it rings. I want you to call people back who booked with me last year. I want you to call people who got a quote but didn't book, right? So everybody, I believe, needs to, uh, even if you're small and you have a job, I cannot stress the importance of getting back to your customers fast. The company typically that, that, uh, that, that calls the customer first or that answers the phone first or that responds to the text first is typically, and a lot of times, the one that gets the sale. So many of us in this industry have other jobs. We, we take hours to get back to our customers or days, right? And the customers, oh my God, thank you for answering the phone. Thank you for getting back to me so quick. Instantly, your, your chances of booking them go up, they skyrocket. So I'm doing a hiring masterclass next week, actually. If you're doing this, if you're watching this live, then, uh, then you could shoot us a text at this number to get more info on that. If you're watching or recording, then let me know in the comments and I'll send you that link. Again, these masterclasses have a lot of templates. 
and uh, we, we they are paid, but the templates are going to be, you don't want everybody in your market using the same exact templates, the same exact job posts, the same exact letter that they sent to schools. So we do have them paid. We do give away some of them, but we also want to be conscious, conscientious. Uh, you don't want everybody in your market doing the same thing. So as you guys know, we do tons of free webinars and stuff like that. But the stuff that we do pay, we just want to, it's stuff that there's an actual template and actual strategy that we don't necessarily, you don't necessarily, you want to pay for it because you're going to probably be the only person in your market that's using this uh, or something like that. Awesome. I see some people already excited about these master classes. You guys are awesome. Um, culture. This is the next big one. I know we're wrapping up here, guys. Um, my wife wants to buy these for the warehouse. Building a culture, this is the biggest thing, right? Like you hire people and first of all, you put a job post out, a bunch of people apply, but then they don't answer the phone. Then you schedule an interview and they don't show up to the interview. Uh, and then they start working, but then they're late. Man, we have solved all of that. We have an incredible crew at my company and I've been doing tons of learning. Uh, learning, man, it has done amazing things for my company, my party rental company and at Event Hawk. We've been able to develop an incredible culture where people love coming to work. Um, my wife wants to hang these up. She's like, oh, this would be cool. That's great, but uh, you really need to learn in order to to to, to get your employee retention up and and, uh, and and your culture. And I'm gonna share with you guys, I have this in the um, checklist as well. I challenge you guys to read at least one book about building a solid team or listen to the audiobook version. Here are my favorites. I got my four favorites listed. These have literally transformed my life, my business, uh, be it at, at Event Hawk or at uh, Bounce my house. I'll show you guys. These are some pictures of our guys. We did a Swiss roll challenge. Somebody on our page recommended this. Uh, all these guys were sending in their, their pictures. Like these are guys that we pay. Like check this out. I'm super proud. My wife did a lot of this, right? Uh, I, I helped, like I would read these books and I give her some tips, but she was amazing at building a culture. This guy's been with us like three years. This guy's his first year. Uh, again, we, we had a challenge where you send us your best role and the winner gets something. So they, they were all sending these goofy pictures. Um, this is us at the warehouse. These guys are playing, you know, they're coming. If you asked me three, four years ago, spending time with my guys or having my guys come to my house, I would say you're crazy. Like those are my employees, but man, they're like family now. And I kid you not. Like these guys have been with us for three, four years, five years. Some of them, this is us all having a Nintendo switch, super smash brothers tournament at my house. They came over for pizza in the, in the off season. They're just so, I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, the culture is just second to none. They're actually helping design our shirt right now. We've got a group chat that's going crazy about what color shirts we're going to have this year and how what's going to be on them. Um, this is at my son's birthday party. That's my little guy. Uh, this is our employee appreciation party at the end of the year. We went go-karting. Uh, this, we took him in the summer. This was actually really cool. It was one of our clients in Indiana. They have a, it's called Low Zone. They got like an inflatable at the beach. Um, yeah, they're nuts. But it's awesome. And, and a lot of this came from, from really building up the culture and understanding that it's not all about pay. It's not all about what you pay them or, or when you schedule them. Um, it's, it's really about learning, right? It's really all about learning. And these are my favorite books that I've learned the most from. Where are they? Right here. Take, take a screenshot of this. These are my four favorite, some of my favorite books for uh, learning how to lead, how to grow a team, how to be a boss how to get, how to clone yourself, literally, how to get unstuck, um, teamwork, how to inspire the people that work with you to want to follow you, not to feel like they have to. We literally have guys fighting to work with us. How to motivate your people, right? So these books have helped. Pick one. Um, feel free to shoot me a message and ask me if you have specific questions as to which one you should start with. It's going to be hard. Maybe that's a bad idea. Hard to pick, but uh, all of these are really good. Maybe just read the bios on each one. These are the four that I've uh, that I've that really have have just significantly transformed our culture and and my leadership skills. I'm always aiming to improve. I'm a teacher and a learner. That's just my my life. I love to learn and teach what I learn. And uh, these books are my favorite. So take a screenshot and uh, hope that helps. And with that, I know we've talked a lot about a stuff about a lot of stuff. Have I delivered on? my promise to blow your minds and just completely overwhelm with you guys with value. Uh, let me know in the comments. Did you guys, do you guys feel empowered? Do you guys feel like this was helpful? Do you guys feel like you got a lot out of this? Matt says, yes. Thank you, Matt. 
Glad you think so. Gabriel says, of course, like always, it was awesome. Darian says 100%. Awesome. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put the, if you're watching this live, I'm going to put the link to the Party Real Bosses Library in the chat. If you're watching this as a recording, then go ahead and comment. Uh, tell me that you want it. Say, I want the I want the checklist and I'll send it over to you guys. And if you guys want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with us to talk about a game plan for 2024 to help you absolutely crush it, crush your goals, we've got three ways you can schedule that. You can scan this QR code. Uh, you can text the word meet to this number, or you can just comment the word meet at this video. Um, I'll put the link right here. Um, Crap, I gotta, hang on one sec. Mm -hmm. Gotta pull up the link. All right, so if you're live, I'm putting the link to schedule a call here. We do have limited spots available. We're always booked, so I got, looks like two spots this week and two next week, and then the rest is like two weeks from now. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and get that. And then for the checklist, um, I'm sending you guys the Party Rental Bosses Library, I'm sending that link right now. Now, this checklist is always updated, guys. So if you guys are sick of, I just put the link in the uh, chat. Uh, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna come to a page like this. Uh, you, you do have to opt in. It's simple, it's not a lot of stuff, just name, email, phone number, and then you will land on a page like this. Um, where is it? So I have instructions, guys, to download this as an app so that you don't have to always log in. Download this as an app. I have Apple instructions and Android instructions, uh, instructions on how to save this on your phone. So it's an app, and I'm always updating this with, uh, with new templates, new videos, uh, all kinds of stuff. We're starting a podcast soon. So from there, once you're logged in, you click on templates, and the preseason checklist is right here. You open it, and everything is here that we talked about today. So I just put that in the uh, in the chat if you're live. If you're not live, go ahead and uh, comment and I'll be sure to send it over to you. And like I said, you opt in one time and then just download it so that you can always access it because we're always adding more stuff. And with that, I really appreciate you guys sitting through this. Uh, I hope that you guys found it helpful. I know I'm excited to be uh, to be jumping back into the day to day, right? We have a, we have an awesome team. But I want to grow. I want to take it to the next level. And again, thank you guys could thank my wife for that. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some kind of, uh, you know, uh, documentation together, kind of like a docu series. And I'd love for us to do it together. So if you guys have ideas, let me know. In the, we have the Party Rental Bosses Facebook group. Uh, I think it'd be cool to have a hashtag and all of us kind of challenge each other about um, finishing the, uh, the sales ca calculator sheet, setting our prices, um, you know, keeping each other like, hey, I just... I just set, I just uh, I just researched my competition and I just set my prices. Um, I just figured out how much I should charge. I just made my first job post. Let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, I, I think that'd be cool for us all to kind of hold each other accountable. And I know I want to do that. I want to be sharing my journey with you guys as uh, as I do more things in my business and make mistakes and learn from them. I definitely want to be uh, sharing that with you guys. So maybe we can just go ahead. You know, if you guys, if anybody wants to take charge of this idea. Go ahead and uh, and post in the Party Rental Bosses group how you guys would like to do it. Uh, we can have some kind of challenge and uh, and just share our progress and all of us work together. Uh, we have a few group chats, but I think the the uh, the Facebook group will be really great for this. And with that, I will turn this around to you guys for questions. So we got a bunch of people in here. So you can either uh, raise your hand or put your question in the comments, and I will do my best to answer it. And by the way, guys, while we wait, if you guys enjoyed this at all and you guys um, feel are feeling generous, I'm going to share our Google review link for you guys to review EventHawk. We have uh, you can go to our EventHawk Facebook page, or you can um, just review EventHawk on Google. I would appreciate it. And you can review our. Uh, you can review me. You can mention me. How to get more reviews? One thing that works really well for me is a competition with our team, right? We, we do a competition where I say, if they mention your name in the review, then you get into some kind of raffle. So I'm thinking about doing something similar with the VetHawk. Um, 
So uh, if you guys mentioned my name in the review, Tariq's webinar was awesome. I want to encourage my team to get reviews as well. So you guys would be helping me grow my business. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So I'm going to share uh, our review link here. Please leave us a review. There you go. I just put the... Um, the link in the chat and I'll answer some of these questions. How much do you pay your employees? So we pay anywhere from 15 to like $19 an hour. Most people start at 15, 16, and uh, we go up like a dollar every year uh, for our delivery crew. For the Penske lease, do you know if they have an age limit for who can drive? Uh, we employ a lot of high school kids. We employ a lot of high school kids too. And as far as I know, well, the state of Illinois, for somebody to be a driver, they do have to be 18. So right off the bat, um, uh, that's that's where we're at. that's what we stick to. We had one disgruntled employee call the uh, Department of Labor on us one time. We got audited, and uh, that was fortunately one thing that uh, that that they warned us about. Um, it's a story for another day, but we did pass that audit. So be careful. He thought we were taking his tips. Um, Matt says, "Great stuff. I already read one on one book. Can't wait to blow this up." All right, awesome, Matt. Thank you. Uh, John Norman, how do I get the spreadsheet? Uh, I did. Let me. Zippy posted it. Thank you, Zippy. I'll post it again. So John Norman, that that uh, link is in there. Um, is the employee handbook necessary when deciding to hire? You know, we put one together a long time ago. Uh, I definitely think it's important as you grow, but we haven't even used it in a while. Um, we we use a different process now, which I'm excited to kind of talk a little bit more about. Um, in the coming days about, we do like uh, knowledge bases and things like that, where we put stuff, um, YouTube channel, but our guys, honestly, we have not really had to hire much. Our guys just refer their friends. We're very well known in the area. We're like, um, like it's, it's just like people, people are want to work, um, at our, at our company and, uh, they just refer their friends and people are literally waiting until they turn 16, they could work with us. And again, I credit a lot of that to, to the things that we learned from the book and, to my wife for being awesome for uh, really, I think women, women leading men works. Like these high school kids, they want to come and talk about their day. And I'm like, dude, get back to work. And she would actually listen to them. I'm like, I don't know how you do it. Um, Matt says, would love to see a pay to play masterclass. Yes, I already talked to my team about that. And uh, I said, hey guys, what do you guys think about doing a pay to play? We did it once before and they're super, super excited. So that is something we'll probably do uh, in May. So uh, uh, when we do that, I'll kind of, go and, and you guys will look over my shoulder as we do that. A hey, Rick says, how can I get a copy of your playbook? Um, that is also in the party rental bosses library. So literally everything you can find here. Once you're in the library, go to books and uh, we have a blog, which is actually pretty awesome where you'll see a lot of recent articles that are short, but if you want to read a full blown book, then um, I have, Couple different uh, books and booklets. This is the Party Rental website playbook. This one's pretty good. This one is still under construction, but uh, these two are available now. You just click it and you can access it. Any other questions? Well, we got about another five minutes, so you guys are good. You guys are still here chilling. I hope you guys are all here because you guys are leaving us reviews. That would be awesome. Whoever leaves us a review gets absolutely nothing, just free goodwill, right? You guys just, just doing something, doing the right thing, helping another business owner out, so I appreciate it, and you're doing something, uh, knowing, expecting nothing in return, and that makes you awesome, so thank you guys for that. Uh, thank you, Kelsey. You're welcome. Dayton Simpson says 99% combos, man. Honestly, that's where I'm at, man. Like nine out of 10 uh, of my, uh, of my unit, like my first 10 units, I would say nine should be combos, maybe one water slide, maybe one obstacle course. But the way I think about it, how much space is it taking in my warehouse or in my garage? Every spot is worth money, right? So if a combo can go off for $300 a weekend, that's a $300 spot. I can put an obstacle course there that might go out once a month for $500. But if a combo goes out for $300 per weekend and I can send it out four times per week, per month, that's $1,200. That spot is worth $1,200. So whatever's going to go there, water slide combo, uh, 
you know, game, it should generate at least $1,200 for me per month. If it doesn't, then I don't want to use up that spot. When you get a warehouse and you have more space, then go ahead and, uh, and you know, blow it out of the water, put a lot of stuff. But uh, especially for you guys starting out, get the stuff that rents. I've done tons of videos. They are in the party room business um, library. Highly recommend. I mean, this stuff, and it's 100% free, guys. So, I mean, I, I literally get nothing out of this. Just, just love what I do. Love to teach. But if you go to the videos and you go to party rental business tips, maybe. I mean, all these videos, just awesome stuff. Each one of these is like an hour, two hours, three hours. If you don't have time, you just want shorter tips, then you can go here. I got all these videos. These are really, really good to start. You can literally listen to these in your car. Um, this one here, let me see. This one, this is huge. This is one of the most important ones right now. This will tell you what people in your market are looking for. Are they looking for water slides? Are they looking for obstacle courses? Don't guess. Don't buy what your competitors bought. Get what people want because people are credit card in hand, looking, ready to spend money. And if you get the wrong stuff, then it's pointless. So this is a really great video on how to step-by-step -step figure out. And if you ever need help, just reach out to us and we will... Uh, We'll help you out. Are you running ads right now? Yes, we are running Google ads. We really don't, we usually shut down for the off season, but this year uh, our guys really wanted to work. Um, I've been having them work in the warehouse. Uh, they've been stuffing letters, sending them to schools. They've been, um, what else have I been doing? I had one guy redo our trailer. He just wanted to, they want to do deliveries. So we, we're running ads mainly for, uh, it, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's uh, the Google ads. I think you should never turn them off unless you're completely closed, because especially now, uh, early in the season is when those big bookings come in. Those big fish, the ones that are planning for the big stuff in June, July, they book early, right? They have their conversations early. Even teachers, teachers are regular people, right? If somebody's on the, um, you know, the PTA and they're told, hey, you're responsible for getting the bounce house, what do you think they're going to do? You think they're going to type in, uh, bounce house for school or they're going to go to Facebook? No, they're going to go type in bounce house rentals near me, right? Just like anybody else. So I, I don't recommend ever turning off your, your ads. Can we get info on the booking big events? Yes, absolutely. Um, so I, um, again, that one is a paid masterclass. If you want to see if you qualify to get a free version, then go ahead and schedule a call with us. We can check on some stuff. Um, but if you want to buy it, it's totally worth it. It's not cheap, but you will be glad that we charge for it when you're the only one in your market who does this. So I'll put that link here in the chat. Bigger bookings, masterclass. All right, next question. Review done. Thank you, Matthew, for leaving a review. Oh, man, you are awesome, dude. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. You guys know how, how hard it is to come across reviews. Anybody here ever turned down a tip for a review? I had a guy offer me a $100 tip one time, and I said, no, thank you. Just leave me a review. And he said, I absolutely will. Take the money. I said, no, I'd rather you leave me a review. It's worth more than $100. He said, man, you're awesome. I absolutely will. Never left me a review. Till now, I wish I took that $100 bill. Ah! Uh, that's how customers are guys. So, uh, do one to others, right? Get that good karma early in the year. Jor says, tell us something about what it would cost letting you run our Google ads beside the ad spend. If it fits in with the content, of course. Yeah. So we have different packages. Check out our pricing on our website. Um, we have, I uh, really guys, I mean, we, we try to be creative with how we, um, we charge. And our goal is to make you way more than you pay us. So we have a few different models, right? If you're brand new, you can, for as little as $19 a month, we will walk you through. We have 70 plus lessons on how to do a lot of this yourself. But, um, you know, that's if you're just starting out. But if you are newer in the party rental business, you already have a business, uh, but you don't have a lot of units. If you have less than 10 inventory items, we do have an option where you could pay nothing zero per month, 
and you just pay us after we make you money. It's literally a dream come true. Uh, it's something we can do because we've been doing this for so long. We only offer this to the party metal industry. And only if you have, you know, a few units, you don't have a big budget to spend on marketing. I get it. I've been there. And uh, you really want to hit it big. I want to help you quit your job. Honestly, I want to help you make money for your family. And if we have to, you know, only get paid after you get paid, we're ready to do that. So uh, not everybody qualifies, right? So uh, you, you would have to uh, schedule a call. We'd have to kind of look at your business. And then we do have a uh, monthly, if you're, if you have over 10 units here and, and uh, anywhere from hundred to a thousand bucks per month, we do SEO, Google ads, Facebook ads. We, we do it all. Uh, we're really, really good at what we do. We've got tons of over 300 five-star reviews. You guys read some of these reviews. It is honestly uh, just mind blowing, super, really appreciate uh, just the, the community. We, we do websites as well. And uh, we're really good at what we do. I mean, we, we generate awesome results. And again, our goal is to make you more money than you pay us. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, we, we're, we, we have a great reputation and we're the best that we do. Nobody has worked with as many party rental businesses as us. And I'm very proud of that. Hope that answers your question, George. Darian says, I'm still running, but decrease my budget. Makes sense. Yep, I did the same. Honestly, I don't like to decrease my budget because the way that I set up my Google ads, uh, it only spends if there's searches out there. So I could set my budget to $100 a day, but if only two people are searching, I might only pay $2. Uh, but if 100 people are searching, then yeah, take the 100 bucks. I don't care as long as you're going to get me a bunch of those to book, right? So I like to keep, I don't spend $100 a day in the summer maybe, but uh, I do like to keep it. I like to give Google uh, some space, especially when I'm confident in the ads. Uh, if you're doing it yourself, I would be careful with that. But with us, we're, we're really good at getting you very low uh, cost. Dayton says, getting my website and Google ads up and running with a vet hawk right now. We'll be live next few weeks. Woo! Dayton, awesome. Super excited for you, man. Definitely be sure, be sure to share your website uh, when you get it up and running. Uh, I know Zanna has been building some awesome websites. Super, super impressed with her work. It's my baby sister, by the way. She's our web designer. She does great work. Uh, she's been absolutely killing it. Um, Tor says, thank you. Air Amazing says, when you book the one-on-one, -on -one, is that with you or one of your team members? Can we request? Uh, so we have Lionel does our, he's our strategy coach. I wish I could talk to all you guys. Uh, I miss the days when, <laughs> when, when I was able to talk to everybody. Uh, that's, uh, that's, it's, it just, it just gets tough. So as you will see, as you grow, as there's going to come a time where you're not able to do all of your own deliveries, that's kind of where we're at. Lionel's awesome. See, there you go. We got some people telling us Lionel is awesome. Lionel's amazing. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you, Fernando. We have an awesome growth strategist, Lionel and Z uh, Ziana. Uh, man, dang, look at this. Everybody's talking about Lionel is awesome. Wow. And Ziana is amazing. Holy moly. That's awesome. Look at that. Kelsey says Ziana's amazing. Kelsey says Lionel is also amazing. Fernando says Lionel's amazing. Yeah, so uh, Lionel has spent a lot of time. He's probably at this point, this year at least, talked to more party rental business owners than I have. And he's very intelligent. Uh, he, he's a businessman. He's all business. And he's, he's uh, very good at um, really breaking down your goals into uh, digestible uh, steps. So I think you guys would really like to talk to Lionel. We went to IAPA and some people didn't even care to see me, right? Usually people are excited to put a face to the name and meet me in person, but a lot of people wanted to meet Zana and Lionel. So I think you guys will, uh, will see that soon. Zippy says, one of my campaigns stopped working and I'm unsure how to get it back. I did not change anything. Zippy, uh, text into support. We'll see how we can help you out. Thank you for sharing. Uh, yeah, sometimes when the campaign stops, I don't know, there, there might be an error at the top. We'll have to take a look. Uh, getting a bunch of, so air amazing Lionel was who texted us. That's so perfect. Awesome. Gabriel says she did our website. It looks great. And now having Google ads running. Awesome. Gabriel, glad to hear it. Wayne says Lionel is a one cool dude. He sure is. Oh, Sean Rodriguez. Event Hawk has changed our revenue tremendously. The team is great. Oh man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Super glad to hear it, man. Uh, that makes my day. That is awesome to hear. Well, Guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate everybody who took the time to leave us a review and sit through this whole thing. This has been awesome. Um, go ahead and, and share some feedback in the Party Rental Bosses group on what you guys want us to do webinars on next. Uh, we're, we're always looking for ideas. We have, you know, we have, we have a list of stuff that we want to do, but uh, at the end of the day, this is for you guys. So definitely share your thoughts and ideas in the, um, in, in the, uh, 
Party Rental Bosses group, and we'd love to hear on how we can help you guys. John says, increase my Google Ads amount. Will it give me a better chance of booking? Not necessarily, not necessarily. Uh, there's a lot more to Google Ads than just throwing money at it. I did a few webinars in the Party Rental Bosses library on how to set up your own Google Ads. But um, honestly, if you're ready to go big, just have a professional do it because there are things that you cannot delegate. You can delegate your marketing to somebody else. You can de delegate a lot to somebody else. But the things that you can't delegate are hiring, building a culture, uh, being a boss. Those are things only you can do. So those are the things that uh, you should really spend your time in. And for what we charge, uh, it's it's really totally worth it. Most people make their money back with one booking. But I get it. Everybody's at different things. And now we even have programs where, you know, you only pay after you uh, you get a booking. So watch the webinar on how to set up your own Google ads. And if you feel stuck, reach out to us. And again, we don't we don't charge you to to look over everything and see how we can help. Guys, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much to everybody who participated and left us a review again. You guys are awesome. See you guys in the next one.